Hey guys, Justin from yourdino.com here. So today we are going to upgrade a dino from Dinocom. So these dinos uh, from Dinocom, they are quite all right mechanically, but a lot of people are complaining about the control system. Now the good news is that it's really easy to change the control system and that's what we're going to demonstrate here today. So here is the dyno, two wheel drive dyno, we have the brake over here, there is a load cell down here, we're going to try to reuse the load cell, it's probably alright. And uh, over here is the power supply, it's a really simple thing, you can you can reuse it if you want, but it, we, we are going to change it. It's uh, this this one is really simple. We're going to change it to a, a your dyno power supply. And over here is the encoder. So that's what they're using for RPM measurement. So it's not a whole effect sensor. It's an encoder, but that's okay to use. We're going to just try to reuse it. And uh, that's uh, the sensor. So the sensors, both sensors, we are going to reuse. We're going to change power supply and of course change the brain. So these are the only two pieces you need. The brain from yourdino.com and the power supply. That's all. So we put the your dino box here. Of course we'll put a, a small uh, cover over it here so that uh, if there is any drops of uh, water it doesn't fall into the, the, the box here. All right, so let's go out over the pinout. So this is uh, the RPM sensor over here. You connect it like this. This is pretty simple. Red is 5 volt, black is uh, ground and the white is signal. And that's all. You connect it directly into the RPM1 input of the Yordino box like that. The load cell, you can reuse the original load cell as well. And here is the pinout, uh, not a standard pinout actually. We spent a little bit of time to figure it out, but here it is. Just copy it uh, like that if you want to reuse the original load cell. And you connect it uh, into the, the, the connector of the Yordino box and that's it. As you can see here, we also grounded the, uh, the box just to the chassis of the dyno here. Pretty simple. The only other thing you need is the is the brake brake control, which is this one. Also, we re just reused the original cable here, but of course connected now to the power supply from your dyno. Power supply was installed over here, same location as the old power supply, and you see it lights up here green. Connections to the mains and to the brake goes here. And yeah, over here, nothing new, same uh, load cell and same brake, obviously, and we are ready to test. All right, we have loaded a BMW and we are ready to test. Uh, this system is set up. You can see we connected uh, the OBD tool, so we have the idle uh, going there. Uh, of course, we did the, the calibration of the load cell. And now we are ready to set the gear ratio. ready to test. Oh 
Ia, vle, hello. Asta am prieteni. Okay, the first test is done here. We got a nice uh, result, super good curves on this uh, BMW, tuned by a real expert. 362 uh, horsepower, which is probably slightly too much because the moment of inertia isn't set uh, properly yet. But um, anyway, excellent result uh, so far. Okay, the upgrade is ready. The Dynacom is born again with a new power supply over here and a new controller box from your dyno here the program is set up and uh, everything is ready to go